Hi guys, so today I'm going to be uh, solving this problem. It's called, uh, it's the train problem. It's a very common problem that comes up in, um, in some high schools and some early uh, functions uh, math classes. Uh, so it, this was a problem uh, I used to always have a, a lot of trouble visualizing and uh, now uh, I have a little bit more experience so I, I found a way to approach this problem that is very easy for me to visualize. So, uh, so that's that. I'm going to go, go ahead and try to uh, solve this problem with you guys. So here, here's a problem. So there's two trains, A and B. They start at the same time and travel toward each other from a city from city A and city B. The trains are 270 kilometers apart. How many hours will it take for them to meet if one train travels at 40 kilometers per hour and the other train travels at 50 kilometers an hour? Okay, so let's start by writing down all the information that we know. So the first informa uh, information we know is uh, let's, let's give each of the trains a speed. So we have train A, A and we'll say that train is traveling at 40 kilometers per hour and then we have train B and this train is traveling at 50 kilometers per hour and then, then we have two cities, city A and it's traveling to city B and the distance between them is 270 kilometers Okay, so let's write some uh, formulas about the two trains. So the first formula that we could write about it is we'll try write the one for train A and for train B is very similar. So for train A, the distance covered or the kilometers covered is a function of x where x is time is uh, 40 times x okay and the kilometers left is equal to 270 minus 40 times x right because 40x is how much uh, how much uh, distance we've traveled and uh, how much is left is just uh, that minus the total distance we have to cover and then for train B similarly it would be these okay so these are the formulas for the train B uh, kilometers covered is 50x and the kilometers left is 270 minus 50x okay so how do we solve this problem with all the information we have here well basically the trains will meet when tra one of the trains has covered the distance that is left for the other train to cover. Does that make sense? So if uh, train A is going to meet train B, when train A has covered the distance that's left for train B to cover. Okay? And uh, train B would meet train A if train B has covered the distance that's left for train A to cover. Okay, so th that, that is for me the easiest way to visualize it. So basically if we wrote that down in math it would just be 40 times x is equal to 270 minus 50x. Right? This is how much train B has left to cover and this is how much train A must have covered. So solving this is pretty easy. So we have 90x, we bring the 50 to the other side, is equal to 270. So x is equal to 270 divided by 90, which, so x is equal to 3. The trains will meet after three hours of travel. The trains will meet 
after three hours. Okay, that's it guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and uh, have a great day.